It was towards the end of March in 2017, and prom was coming up. My high school prom was the last Thursday of May. However, people were already taking consideration who to ask and plan out their quote-unquote prom proposal. I figured out who I wanted to ask and had a backup just in case. The first girl I wanted to ask was a junior. I talked to quite a bit at some parties, and we had lunch together. After school, I went to CVS and brought some posters and sharpies. So I decorated a sign, and things were good to go. The day I was going to ask her. Her friends and other people found out about this. Only one of my friends knew about it, and people went up to my friend and told him to tell me not to ask this girl out because she was planning on going with somebody else. So my friend broke the news to me to apologize and told me what happened. I was a little down on myself, but it did not bother me that much since I had a backup. My backup was a sophomore who was prettier than the first girl. We had the same gym class together, but hardly talked. I told two of my best friends about my plan and said I could have a good shot at this. It was the day before my prom proposal, and a few people in our grade overheard. And one kid comes up to me with, "Yo, is it true that you're gonna ask her out to prom?" I said, "How do you even know about this?" Then he tells me, "You're gonna get dubbed." After that last remark, I told him to mind his own business. It was the next day. I had a finished sign and flowers, and one of my best friends came with me. I drove to the gym at my school, blasting the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I was feeling anxious and excited at the same time. We got out of my car. And I waited out front while my friends sat at the table next to the building. Class ended five minutes early, and people started to come out. More people started to come out of the gym. They wished me good luck. They started to get excited for me, and then they started to stand behind me. My heart started pounding faster. One of the girl's friends saw me outside and started laughing at me from inside the gym. The girl did not come to the front door and said she went out the back door and had someone block her, so I would not be able to see her as they walked off. After everyone left, my friend said that they were all jerks. I drove back home. There was a huge dumpster in front of my house, which made me want to chuck the flowers in there. But instead, I went inside my house and placed them gently on my kitchen table. I was in my room, silent, bouncing a tennis ball on my wall back and forth. Half an hour later, I got home. She DM'd me on Instagram with, "Hey, I've been hearing you are going to ask me to prom. I'm really flattered, but I don't know you that well, and I think you would have more fun with the girl you know better." From there, she was completely honest and very nice. I did not get angry with her, and I totally understood that perspective, and did not mean to put her in an uncomfortable position. I went to school Monday, and the entire school knew what happened, and talked behind my back. People thought it was funny, but I tried not to let it bother me. I went to prom with a friend, and I had a great time. The most important thing I learned was, even though things did not work out, I managed to try my best, and I gave it a pretty good shot. Totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chases all the way to the end.